حجج تهافت كالزجاج تخالها أي تظنها تخالها حقا وكل كاسر ومكسور ويعلم العليم البصير Ibn Taymiyyah continues, he said, and the one who is omniscient, who knows all things, who is al-basir, who sees all, knows, annahum min wajh mustahiquna ma qanahu shafi'i. He knows that in some ways they are deserving of exactly what a shafi'i said about them. Allah knows that they are deserving of punishment. As a shafi'i, rahimullah ta'ala, he said about them, حيث قال حكمي في أهل الكلام أن يضرب بالجرير والنعال That my judgment against the people of kalam, of speculative, speculative theology, those who speak about the religion with philosophy and with rhetoric that is not based in the book of Allah, the son of the Prophet ﷺ, my judgment against them is أن يضرب بالجرير والنعال and he is that they should be beat they should be beat with jareed. Jareed, I need to take uh, branches or leaves and to twist them up and knot them up. You know, back in the days, I don't think people are allowed to do this anymore. Your parents would say, go out back and get a twig off the tree. You know, unless you pick your own pick your own punishment, right? You pick the twig that I'm going to tear you up with. Jareed, I mean, as people used to take branches and twist them up and go upside somebody's head with them, Right? He says, my ruling against these people who talk about Allah's religion with pure speculation, just guessing about the religion and saying that this is the religion of Allah, that my ruling against them is that they be beat with al-jareed wa ni'al, that they be beat with branches and twisted uh, sticks and that they be beat with sandals, that they be beat with sandals. There's a well-known narration of one of the ulama of the past. They called him Asad al-Sunnah as a laqab. And when one of the Qadariyah in his majlis was sitting, he was an imam of hadith who has a book on the Qadr of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. Coincidentally, one of the people from the Qadariyah was sitting in the back of his majlis and he started to yushakkik, yani be skeptical about what was being said and attributed to the Prophet Sallallahu about the Qadr of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he had wooden shoes on. He had wooden shoes on. And so he took his shoes off and he walked to the back of the majlis and he went upside the guy's head with his wooden shoes. Right? And beat the guy upside the head with his shoes. Ashafi rahimullah ta'ala, he says that my judgment against them is that they be beat with branches, they be beat with with uh, shoes and sandals. And that they be taken around as a public demonstration and paraded throughout the qaba'il, throughout the tribes and the Subtribes, any the ashair, any where the families live, the neighborhoods of the people, why you call, and that it be said publicly, Hada jaza'u man tarak al kitaba wa sunnah wa akbala ala al kalam. That this is the punishment of the one who leaves the book in the sunnah and turns their attention to al kalam. And turns their attention to al kalam. I mean, to the speech of men that opposes what is in the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet. This statement is found in the book Al-Fatwa Al-Hamawiyah by Ibn Taymiyyah rahimullah ta'ala. The shaykh continues, he says, وَإِنَّمَا يَسْدُقُوا هَذَا الْكَلَامَ عَانِ مَرَاحِلَ الْمَنْهَجَ السَّلَفِي مِنْ حَيْثُ التَّوْذِيحِ وَالْبَيَانِ وَالْانْتِشَارِ وَالْقُوَّةِ وَأَسْبَابٍ وَعَوَامِ لِذَانِكِ مِنْ حَيْثُ مَرَاحِلْ تَدْوِينَ الْعَقِيلَةَ السَّلَفِيَّةِ 